Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you what it looks like on the inside of a mover semi-truck trailer. I'm gonna to explain to you the importance of keeping your trailer clean and organized. And I'm also gonna show off to you guys a little bit of my setup. All right, so here I'm just gonna start cleaning up my trailer a bit, getting it nice and organized for the next load up. I'm just climbing up top, removing some of these straps and then uh, bundling them up and getting them out of the way down below. Just wanna make sure to have them put away, that way nobody's tripping around. So this is gonna be the more time consuming part, folding up all these furniture pads, but we gotta get it done and I like to make my trailer look really nice and clean. So sometimes I'll make bundles and sometimes I'll fold them. Whenever I have a little bit more time, I like to just go ahead and fold them up. I think it makes the trailer look 10 times neater. So the most important part is just keeping them off to the side and keeping that alleyway free of travel. So now that they're all folded up and everything's put away, we can now maneuver through the trailer with ease, which is my goal when it comes to getting prepared for the next load up. This is gonna allow you and your guys to be able to load the trailer fast and efficiently without having to worry about tripping over anything or losing anything in the pads. All right, so now I'm just gonna give you guys a walking tour of my trailer, show you some of my equipment and tell you about it. Down here to the bottom left, we got my furniture dolly and we also have a couple runners rolled up to protect the floor whenever we enter and exit the home. Over here, we got the decking board. We can use this to build a deck. Uh, we essentially would put it halfway up and then build some furniture on top of it or underneath of it. Now we got a box of straps. Those are good for securing the load down. And then of course we got a big stack of pads. And then down below we have several bags of chains. These are used to wrap around my tire and basically give them more traction in the snow or ice. And then we're gonna come over here where I have a couple tool bags, you know, containing all the basic tools to disassemble or reassemble the furniture. And then I have multiple stacks of pads. Honestly guys, I think I have too many pads and I'm gonna need to drop some off before my next trip. But aside from that, we have a couple upright dollies. Uh, these are good to roll the furniture or roll boxes. Always trying to make life a little bit easier on the job when we can. And then I have my speed crate right here. This is great for rolling like little items, um, such as things that you would find in the garage or just anything small that's going long distances to cut out that time of walking back and forth. And then in order to roll this giant crate, we have that four wheel dolly over there that I showed in the beginning of the video. You just place it under and it rolls with ease. Up here we got the door jam. Essentially what this is going to do is when you go into the front entrance of a home, you're going to place it on the door trim and that's going to protect it if it ever gets bumped with a piece of furniture that someone's rolling out or carrying by hand. Off to the side we have a six foot ladder that we're going to use to build up each tier piece by piece. This is going to be essential when it comes to going up and down to stack all the furniture in boxes. Over here we just have some more furniture pads and then I have all my plastic wrap or my stretch wrap that we use to secure and wrap around the furniture to keep it sealed. Then we got some spare cardboard back here in case I want to make some additional boxes for packing or we can also use that cardboard to cushion the furniture. Additionally, we got a little bit more plastic wrap and then over here to the left, I got my boxes of tape. I also have packing paper, I have some bags, plastic bags to cover the mattresses and keep them clean. And up top, I got all my furniture bands. I have these all coordinated by color and size and essentially what they're gonna be used for is to secure the blankets onto the furniture and to keep it protected. But yeah guys, so that's how my trailer looks. Just wanted to show you guys my equipment and explain the importance of keeping everything clean and organized and how it's just gonna make your life so much easier when you're coming in here to load up each day and you're not having to worry about tripping or falling on anything and moving things out of the way as you load like nobody wants to do that it's so annoying whenever there's just furniture blankets laying around on the floor and you're having to wade through them so make sure you keep everything organized it's just gonna make your life 10 times smoother and then that's really what it's all about is just trying to find those small things that you can do here and there to make each job easier but yeah guys so that's how a movers trailer looks like on the inside i'm gonna go ahead and list in the description down below a short time lapse of me cleaning it from start to finish and as always subscribe for more content